Hey, greetings, friends. I'm Glenn Thomas, and tonight we're talking CLA Mix Hub plugin from Waves. If you're new to the channel, so glad that you're here. Hit that subscribe button and join our community. We'd love to have you. We're all about music, creativity, Ableton Live, and beyond. So again, tonight we're talking CLA Mix Hub from Waves. All right, so inside Ableton now, uh, what you're looking at is the CLA Mix Hub plugin from Waves. So far, really happy with this, but rather than go in depth on this plugin, my plan is to just share with you uh, three things that I like and one thing that I'm not a big fan of as of right now. So I've just got a mix your little groove that I had going. Yeah, just a little bit of a funky dance is what I'm calling that one for right now. And what I've got set up here is on the mix hub, I've got the drum bus set up, I've got the bass set up, I've got the synth set up, synth bus. Uh, this lead, which is just two mono guitars that are panned and detuned, and then uh, this rhythm guitar. And I've got all of those set up in the mix hub. And so let me just show you a few things that I like. First of all, is if you go to channel view, you get this extra wide button in the output section. And so I'm on my synth bus right now. So just take a listen to this. Let's solo this out for a second. So the synth bus. That's with the extra wide button. Let me depress that. Again, just add some stereo width there. Pretty cool. A uh, second thing that I've really enjoyed is if you go to the dynamic section, what you'll see is you have a compressor mix button. So take a listen to this. So as you can see on my drum bus here, I'm doing some pretty heavy compression but I've got my mix dialed way back 25% essentially. And so I can just really get it right where I want it. I really like that. I like that this is a modular plugin, so you can move things around as you need to. And even if you click over to the channel view, you can move uh, dynamics before EQ, EQ for, before dynamics, and you can add a compatible plugin into your inserts. So I like that. I like the fact that this is a modular plugin. So last but not least, the one thing that I'm not a big fan of is it seems that there's maybe a bit of a bug uh, is naming in the CLA mix hub. It seems that some of these channels I can double click and I can rename, but some of them like this one right here, I'm clicking away and I cannot seem to rename that one. This one I can, that one I can, but for some reason, the center one I cannot rename. Yeah, so that's a bit of a bug, perhaps. So overall, I'm a big fan of this plugin. It is great. I love being able to see eight channels right up next to each other, be able to EQ all at once, see the dynamics all at once. Pretty awesome. So hopefully this was helpful for you just to get a quick glance at a few things that I notice about this plugin. Uh, if it was helpful, I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe. If this wasn't helpful, I'd love a thumbs down. And in the comments section, please tell me why this wasn't helpful to you. I'd love to take that into consideration as I go forward with more videos. So again, thanks for taking the time to watch. Please consider subscribing and I will see you on the next one.